welcome to my life on paper i am brianna welcome back to christy's beautiful life in her 30 days of sketches this is uh day 10 and this sketch is by L lorraine wilmot i will have any information i have about her linked below um this is a picture of my husband who took our middle daughter back to school i do believe this is his first time having boba tea um my daughter shared this with me and so this is what i will be scrapbooking she has this cute layout it's got these circles um and it made me think of bubbles it made me think of bubbles um and what i did was i used the search function on my on my phone and it showed me some bubble tea so i i remembered i had this photo so i brought this out so the i did go to my cricut and cut out this which is bubbles. I made them black because that's kind of what the bubble boba tea is there, the tapioca. I'm gonna use this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna back my photo with. Um, I'm kind of, I haven't put a lot of thought into it. The other thing is it's got all those cute little, just like, they look like little flowers or little, you know, just little. Mm. So I got out a lot, a lot. <laughs> I got out several of my, um, these are Ellie's studio. I've got words, that would be fun. I've got stars. I've got hearts, which would be fun. Here's more hearts and stars and little, I don't know what you call these, asterisk type stuff. This went super fast, so I did not speed any of it up and I hope that is okay. I went with some cardstock I had that matched The Flame by Catherine Pooler. That's the ink. I like that. Catherine Pluter ink because it's so nice and juicy. So I found two other papers from a paper pad that was in my collection and they matched that uh, flame color as well. So I, I layered those and you'll see how particular I am and putsy because I look at the sketch and make sure that it's lined up. <laughs> um, this is a good place to tell you or remind you that this sketch is a jumping off place. Take from it what you want. It does not have to be exact. Uh, my my bubbles are not exact. Her bubbles looked like they were kind of almost like in rays. And mine are all over the place, but they very much did inspire me um, to use them on the sketch. Um, so I did and I'm happy I did. Sometimes I forget about that my Cricut has like background items. Um, there, I think there's an app that I have that's called, it could be notes. And I am a Cricut weirdo and I have a list of all the things that you can think of to, um, use on a page, um, in Cricut in case I lose my words. Um, it's just a great reference. Sometimes I'll find something interesting, um, I don't know, everything from arrows to bubbles to who, to backgrounds. I don't find the Cricut to be very intuitive and, and for searching type things. Sometimes it's called this, sometimes it's called that. So if I do come across something um, kind of that is new to me or is a good idea, I will put it in my notes app. It's all listed under my Cricut on one page. So, and I just keep adding to it. Here I'm using my Barely Art Glitter Glue and I really only put the glue on the thickest circles and they're kind of spread out so that works perfectly some of the circles aren't super it's um not a clean cut on the Cricut so but it's okay because my photo does overlap that you won't notice it um I do end up finding the perfect stamp to use this is a very simplistic layout or I shouldn't say layout well yeah it is a simplistic layout the sketch I am so excited to see what everybody else is doing with the sketch because you can do so many different things and um, you don't have to keep it simple you can make it um, as um, I don't want to say complicated but busy you can make it as busy as you like you can add to it so it'll be fun to see what everybody else is doing so I'm just kind of lining it up where it is in this sketch. And once I get that glued down, I will use my stamp. I do end up cutting um, a title out of the Cricut. And um, sometimes I have Cricut fails. I did cut out the title three times before I got something that I liked. Um, and oftentimes 
it's because it's not cutting well. Um, the first one I cut out, oh, here's the, that cute little circle with a heart on it. And that's how I knew it was the right stamp because it was circle plus a heart. And it's just the right size too. Um, so the first one I cut out was, was a square letter. So it had a, a square and then the letter was inside it. But the problem with that is you had to, it was teeny to make it fit. And then you had to glue in the inside pieces. And I, I don't like cut, gluing the inside pieces. There's just too many things to uh, lose and go wrong. So then the second time I did a, a script letter, which was too thin, so that fell apart. You couldn't even use that. And then you'll see what I'm using for the, for the real title in a moment. Did I already tell you that I checked with my husband and he said that was not his first boba tea, so that couldn't be my title. Um, I searched in the Cricut and there was a cute cup with a title that said U-R-A-Q-C-U-T-T-E-A and I did not want the whole cup and the um, title was kind of on the cup. You couldn't separate it out. It's hard to explain. But so I just took the text then and made it myself. Stole the title from Cricut, but made it in my own font. And like I said, this is my third attempt. But it's nice and thick and it's linked together. So it's not a lot of pieces and I don't have to worry about losing things. And I don't have to glue the middle of the A. So these are the kind of fonts I like. And when I find one, I bookmark it so I can use it again in the future. And I did. This is the first time I've used, well, that I realized anyway. Could have used it before, but... This is a nice one, so I did bookmark it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you um, if you did like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, please. I love um, getting new subscribers. I love talking to you. Leave a comment if you if you like. If you have questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be back tomorrow. I am trying to play uh, along with 30 Days of Sketches when I'm able to. Um, so we will see, but you have a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.